Uh, I'm Lauren Fitzgibbon, and I'm the Vice President of UCLA Quidditch. The number one thing I hear from people is that they don't understand that it's a sport and not just like a cosplay group. I mean, when the sport was started, it kind of had that aspect to it. They would come out and it was, it was a lot of cosplay, like capes, capes, capes and everything like that. But then the sport really evolved into something that's far more competitive and physical and athletic. Fun fact, the founder of UCLA Quidditch had never read any of the books or watched the movies. We don't try to distance ourselves from Harry Potter, but we are very distinctly not a Harry Potter club. There's four positions in Quidditch, same deal as the movies and the books. There's chasers who use a deflated volleyball that we call a quaffle. They have to get this ball through the other team's hoops. It doesn't matter which hoop you score through, it doesn't matter which side you score from, it's all 10 points. They're your main offense. Without them, you obviously cannot score. Feeders have this dodgeball that we call a bludger. And if you get hit with the dodgeball, you have to take the broom out from between your legs, drop whatever balls you're holding in your hands, and run back to your own set of hoops and tag in before you can keep playing. So they're your main line of defense. Um, and then you have the seeker. Their whole job is to chase after somebody wearing these shorts. They have to try to grab this little ball off their butt. When you catch this, this ends the game and gives the team who caught it 30 points. So it's a lot less uh, OP than Harry Potter. This guy can do whatever he has to to stop you from grabbing it. So he can grapple with you, he can like throw you around to the ground, he can steal your broom and like throw it 10 feet away. Like they have no mercy. Quidditch is such an amazing sport. It attracts the kind of people who are athletic and competitive, but they also don't take themselves seriously. You really can't like think you're the greatest person ever and like still be able to run around with a broom between your legs. So a lot of people come in thinking that it's just gonna be like light jogging. It's a lot more intense people make it out to be. Coming from a football background, it was definitely nice finding another sport that was like full contact. Starting in the very first practice, it was fast paced, there was hitting, there was contact, tackling. You have like the macro game of Quidditch where you have everything going on. But once you break the game down into their individual sections, I mean, you have beating that's very much like dodgeball. Chasing is very similar similar to like a mix of like rugby and basketball. You have seeking and slash snitching, which is a lot of grappling and throwing and wrestling and diving. There's so much to focus on. You can't be a passive player. You have to be aware of everything that's happening on the pitch. It's very strategic. You have to be ready to be hustling for the ball like at any point in the game. You can't just be focused on, oh, I just need to get this ball through the hoop. You have to have a lot more awareness of the field and every player. It's a contact sport, so by its nature, it's gonna be dangerous. Oddly enough, more injuries playing Quidditch than I did in football and lacrosse combined. You get super bruised and banged up. It's just one of those things that happens. It's unfortunate we try to take uh, preventative measures to keep it from happening. Overall, the Quidditch community is very open and welcoming, especially to new people. You kind of have to be when you're running around with brooms and you're playing a sport that's starting in children's book. Really, like, it's a great time. We all get to come out here and play it. And really, the team kind of turns into a family. We travel together to tournaments. We come and practice together blood, sweat, tears together. Um, literally. Literally, sometimes. We want to share this thing with other people. We want to show people how to play. It's a very, very athletic and physical sport. No matter what type of person you are or how you want to play, how competitive you want to be, there's a team for you out there. I really want people who don't know about Quidditch to know that we're not a bunch of nerds pretending we're flying around. It's a legit sport that's physical 